Hi, my name is Sam, and this is a tutorial on Aviso 8.1 Standard Edition. So what we're going to learn about today is how to get around the Aviso interface and how to do a simple volume rendering. So we just opened Aviso 8.1 Standard Edition. And the first thing we want to do, the first thing we see is a bunch of these panels. So each of these panels we can move around. They're exactly like the windows in Windows. So we can go to, you can click on and you can click off these panels like this, just from here. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to click on Open Data and go to Tutorials and then Motor. You can also just right click on motor to open up this window. Here to search your tool. So my tool that I'm going to use, or my block that I'm going to use is called volume rendering. So then you just click enter. So this volume rendering tool just displays it in a 3D model, but you can't export it to stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this color map value to 75. I find 75 works pretty well for this. And then we can move it, if we move it up, you can see stuff disappears. And 34, there, if we go less, it's there's lots of this fuzz, which I don't like much. So 75 is a good value, in my opinion, for this motor object. So for this, you can use Each of these things you can use to connect stuff. You just need to drag. You can drag it to there. Or you can drag both of them together to there. You just need to click on these little purple things. And then you can just drag them anywhere you want. Okay. To delete something, let's say I want to delete this caption block. Which only, all it does is just display what it's connected to. Right there. So if I, I just click, hold it, and then I go here, and then I just click X, and it deletes it. So now how to move around this like 3D model, we can go here. So this grab tool just pans it around, or rotates it around as much as you want, which is fun to do. And then this move tool is, you use it, it also works as the middle third button click. The scale tool is the mouse but the mouse wheel. You can just go up in and out. And this rotate button just allows you to rotate it incrementally for each thing. Then this thing allows you this tool allows you to go and zoom in on a part of your object. See? Okay, so then there's three set views that you can use. This one, and you just need to click up here. And this will allow you to set it back to your home position. See? So now we're going to sh I'm going to show you a simple color mapping module that we can use with this volume rendering settings. So you just need to click on color map right up there. And then you can either edit it right here or right up here to choose what color map you want. So I'm going to choose Volron Red because it's one of my fav favorites. So if you notice, the more white something is, the higher density that part was when it was scanned. And then you can move this dot. up and down and you can move these to change how much is shown thanks so much for watching and we'll be back soon with another tutorial on a viso 8.1